सा फर्क है कुछ होने में और बहुत कुछ होने में इतना सा फर्क है एक बार सोच के छोड़ देने में और लग के कर दिखाने में मान लेने में कि जिंदगी ऐसे ही कटेगी और सुबह चार बजे उठ के सोचने में कि अभी तो बस शुरुआत है किसी मैगजीन को हाथ में लेने में और उसी मैगजीन के कवर पेज पे होने में इतना सा ही तो फर्क है वीआईपी सीट में और उसकी पिछली सीट में इतना सा ही तो फर्क है वो जिसका मैदान ही खुला आसमान है वही कल जमीन पर तो था पूछोगे तो बताएगा वो पंछी एक दायरे में सिमटने में और पूरी दुनिया को दायरा बनाने में बस इतना सा फर्क है इतना कितना है इतना है या इतना है जो नापेगा वो जाने कि जहां धरती और आसमान मिलते हैं नानकुर से दूर अगर मगर शायद से दूर वहां भी दोनों में फर्क बस इतना सा है धरती और सातवें आसमान में फर्क बस इतना सा है ये एक अंतर प्रेरणा ये हमारी आपकी हम सब की अंतर प्रेरणा एक कदम एक छलांग एक बाजी एक गहरी सांस और एक ललकार खुली हवाओं में कि हां मैं बना हूं उन फिजाओं के लिए कि हां मैं बना हूं उन ऊंचाइयों के लिए जो ऊंची तो बहुत है पर नामुमकिन भी नहीं क्योंकि मुमकिन और नामुमकिन में बस इतना सा धूप छाओ में फर्क बस इतना सा तो बस चलिए फ्रेंचाइज इंडिया के साथ ये फर्क मिटा देते हैं फ्रेंचाइज इंडिया ट्वेंटी इयर्स ऑफ आइडियाज गुड मॉर्निंग फ्रेंड्स एंड गुड मॉर्निंग टू यू एंड वेलकम टू फ्रेंचाइज इंडिया वेबिनार दिस संडे मॉर्निंग this is a special series we have started friends for success pioneer and this we started because we wanted to educate people when they're looking to start a business and how they can really select the right business and make it successful one uh, let's start with the little order of uh, this webinar we will start with introduction i'll give you my introduction and the franchise india's introduction and then we'll get on to understanding how to build a successful business and eventually we'll get down to how to select the right franchise if you want to buy a, a franchise Uh, we'll make it very interactive, uh, so you can use the Q and A box at the bottom. Uh, if you can see, if you're logged in from a phone or a or an iPad or a laptop, you will see a, a icon there called Q and A. You can click on the Q and A and ask any question and introduce yourself also. So that's the way we want to do that. And also, I would like to ask uh, friends if you are comfortable in English or you want me to do Hindi. Please, uh, if anybody wants me to talk in Hindi, use the Q and A box. Uh, just mention that, and I can. i can uh, shift to hindi uh, in this webinar the idea is that you take home some information some knowledge uh, about this uh, how starting a business how to select the right opportunity select the right industry and also make it successful one <clears throat> i have a question uh, surjit says english is fine so i'll stick to english uh, so thank you surjit for your feedback i like people when they give feedback because then they're interacting and they are also involved in this whole uh, webinar Uh, so we want to talk about a lot of things you know because uh, you know when people are looking to start a business they have a lot of anxiety a lot of confusion so any question which just comes to your mind in terms of uh, how to really uh, set on what is the best roi you can expect what is the risk you have in the business how to mitigate that risk anything which comes to your mind uh, just go on a q and a box it will not only help you but also help others so let's start uh, with introduction i will give my introduction i started my career in way back in 95 with telecom uh, telecom was just happening at that time it was just starting to happen the gsm phones was coming up and uh, i feel that uh, the only thing i've done right in my life uh, which has worked for me in my entrepreneurial journey which is now going to be almost about uh, 30 odd years uh, is been the timing i always was a right timing guy you know i i would not say that i was the most hard working person i was the most uh you know person who had the best idea but my timing was right for the right industry and that's something which i right now now educate uh wanna be entrepreneurs and say you need to really do your timing right you need to have the right timing for a particular industry you cannot go wrong because when the industry is on a sunshine you will also ride with that wave so i started my career with the uh, telecom in 95 uh, very successful stint uh, stint with the 
uh, telecom till about 98 three odd years i was there and then i got into a, uh, starting my own uh, founder journey and i founded a company called franchise india and again the timing was much ahead of the times you know there was nothing like franchising as an industry in the country uh, we brought the whole industry to the market and and later built the world's largest franchise solution company today we are very very proud that franchise india not only is the largest company in india but from a size and service and the capabilities we built we are the largest service provider in franchise industry in the world uh, operate in about six countries we recently started our africa operations uh, but we are in africa we are in uh, gulf we are in india and also other mature markets we have joint ventures in uk and us uh, so that's been a franchise in a journey very very proud to say that we have worked with 12000 brands and serviced over a million odd investors uh, who have benefited starting a business through franchise india so franchise india was born with a basic idea that we want to be uh, you know uh, start your own business platform uh, there was no platform if i want to buy a business where would i go Uh, so that was the problem i wanted to solve and franchise india was born on that basic idea that if you are looking to start your own business you can walk into any of the franchise india offices today spread over 94 cities and select the right opportunity that's the idea which we really started with and we are sticking to that idea for last uh, 24 25 years uh, just doing that helping people to start their entrepreneurial journey but i'll also tell you that uh, for example in the last two years we've been doing these webinars and over 1 million people have attended these webinars we have done every single day there is not even a day where franchise india has not conducted a webinar since uh, lockdown happened lockdown happened on 22nd march from 23rd march we have been doing every single day a webinar and million people have really come in but over 10 lakh odd people have attended these webinars but very few actually made a decision to buy a business or start a business what happens to other ones and i'm sure a lot of people more than that actually 1 million would have attended the webinar couple of other millions would have seen on facebook or our youtube channels or other places so so many people really explore an opportunity but very few end up buying that business uh, why why others are not making able to make a decision because they are not certain that this would work for them or they feel that there is a huge risk which they have or they are not able to re, uh, come down to a point where they are able to shortlist the opportunity which they want to do they keep exploring but they are not able to do that i know a lot of people who have almost every evening on the dinner table discussion that time has come they want to start their business today morning interestingly i got call from my finance uh, a person who used to work with me and now he is working in a government job and he called me up he says i was all night thinking that i this is the time i want to start my own business and i wanted your 15 20 minutes of time so they keep thinking people in job people in any businesses or people in even in college students today think about their entrepreneurial journey but they're not able to sometime make a decision on what opportunity is right for them and is it the right time to start is it going to be a profitable for them all these anxieties and complexity don't let them start with business and this is the webinar which we really started with that simplicity and understanding how you really want to define that so if you want to really start your journey of franchising uh, you need to really call the five golden rules these five golden rules is very very important for you to do that and if you are making notes please make notes of that uh, so five golden rules are first set your mindset mindset is very very important entrepreneurial journey is all about your mindset if your mindset is not there you will never be able to make that decision right so i can tell you right away like for example let me start with the question uh, give me a very honest answer on the q and a box how many of you have a firm date when you want to start a business firm date which means you have 60 days 90 days 120 days 150 days or a particular date you have in mind when you want to start your entrepreneurial journey give me a honest answer on the q and a box how many of you have a firm date that you want to start a business you are attending this uh, a uh, business webinar right you're spending sunday morning sunday morning is time where you want to spend with family or relax or do something but you are attending this uh, particular webinar but do you have a mind uh, and i think i got one answer from a bhagat he says two months and he came very sharp uh, he came immediately uh, i can congratulate him that out of so many people who have joined in i can see a lot of people who have joined in the webinar he is one person who has replied ashish also replied call immediately congratulations ashish 
jiwani is also within 6 months while it has still within 6 months it has certain amount of time line but still dot form and i get an answer which i was looking at somebody said say vikas uh, saxena said 6th august now this is very powerful and i say vikas you are perfect you are perfect for your entrepreneurial journey it happens on 6th august it doesn't happen doesn't matter it is it is the date which is very important it is the date which is which is the starting point and this is where almost everybody else who is not able to write out of these uh, five odd people who have written i congratulate all five of them but a lot of people have not written uh, so i can tell them that they are not ready they are not ready by mindset to even start their own journey they are just exploring like everybody goes out of a home is exploring opportunities but that doesn't mean that they would capture that opportunity so vikas is a person who has a particular date in mind now let me define the date itself say vikas had 6th august as a point then date define uh, i will define date as d stands for discipline so he will start working uh, or put himself in discipline from today to 6th of august and how things would work uh, on this entrepreneurial journey a stands for accountability he will set himself an accountable for what is going to happen right what is his what is his responsibility how he wants to prepare himself and so on so forth t stands for training which is the most important gap and you need to fill it up because we all when we are doing education are trained to work for somebody we are not trained to become entrepreneur this is sad part of our education our education is training us that we go out and take a job and work for somebody we are not trained to become entrepreneurs uh, to create our ideas to really build our ideas to go and take risk we are not trained to do that and then when we really shift our journeys to entrepreneur journey it becomes very difficult because we don't have formal training and this is one of the areas which i really recommend any person who comes to me that invest into training like i was talking to four guys yesterday all it guys and they wanted to start a pizza franchise and i told them that look i'm happy to help you in getting a pizza franchise but tell me out of the four you all four are friends and partners childhood friends all it professionals how many of you would really spend time behind the counter and making pizzas or delivering pizzas or entering customers or doing back office supply chain and then they became quiet and only one said look i am going to leave my job and getting to full time but rest are going to be investors so that's a trouble that's a trouble because people when they have money they feel that just investing into capital into businesses uh, would give them the kind of returns they expect they're wrong if you want to do that then why don't you want to really put money into blue chip company because at least they are better managed put in money in nestle uh, put money in reliance industries because they are better managed but if you want to start your own business you need to put your own time and train yourself so d stands for discipline a stands for accountability t stands for training and e stands for encouragement you need to encourage yourself every single day like vikas is to uh, should encourage himself today we are sitting on 29th of may from 29th to 6th of august he needs to almost every day tell himself that he is on the right journey he's training himself well he's setting his own accountability and he's also uh, working on on a lot of disciplined work which need to prepare uh, him to his entrepreneurial journey so congratulations vikas i want to take your example because this is very very important so let me see some other questions i am looking for a good food business as soon as i get compatible business i am ready so somebody says i am looking for food a lot of people get excited about food business uh, 35% of all inquiries which come to franchise india are for people who want to start a food business and food i can tell you uh, uh, swarnan uh, if i have taken your name right uh, is the most complex business to do very 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 complex and while it looks from outside very highly profitable big margin but it's not that it still works on a, a 15 to 20% sales and it is very scientific it's extremely scientific as a business model uh, i'll give you example if i would you have to start a business there are some heads which you need to know your cost of occupancy should not be more than 15% your food cost should not be more than 30 35% your utility which is your uh, you know electricity gas and other things should not be more than 8 to 10% your hr cannot be more than 12% your marketing another 3 to 4% now discounting and other things also there and then you are left with a 15 to 20% return on sales so it's a, it's a tough business in anything which changes in the order if say you are on a occupancy which was 15 to becomes 25 you don't make money you start losing money 
So food is really again uh, almost every business is like that, but uh, food has a particular size, and you have to champion that size before you invest. It's not really just the opportunity. Rather, somebody yesterday the same four people who were asking for a pizza franchise, they told me we want to taste the pizza. I said that doesn't matter. The business model is more important than just the taste of the entire. While I understand the product has to be good, that's default. But how the business model that, that makes a lot of change. For example, Subway. Subway, if you really see, is a very simple model. It's easy to run, easy to operate, and it is that's why it's very very successful franchise model globally. And forty eight thousand franchises run for Subway because the business model make money. It's not just the product. Product very simple, very very simple sandwich store. Uh, rather, it has not innovated itself. It does not really uh, done too many experiments. It's just stayed as honest business model, which makes money. So whenever you're looking for a, starting a business, always things like that. So first is mindset. Mindset is about setting the date for doing the business. But there are also other things in mindset which are very very important. Uh, it also is about <clears throat> you know your, your life goals. Your life goals are very, very important. What is your life goal? What What do you really want to achieve? What is the next five years for you? What is the ten years for you? What is the bigger, major events coming in your life in next five, ten years where you want some kind of capital to come to you? Unless and until you define your life goals, your business goals would not match. Right. So your life goals have to clearly define what you expect from yourself, and then you design your business to match that. That's very, very important. Where you are on your resources, that's also very, very important. So when we really do these five golden rules, first is mindset. Set your mindset. Understand the, your life goals. Understand your risk appetite. What kind of risk appetite you have. Once you've done that, you are absolutely ready. What you want to do. That. Once that is done, then go to the second part: selection of the right business and the timing of that business. That's very very important. That's a point number two. Point number two is how to select the right business and the timing for the business. Some businesses have a perfect timing, you know, and that perfect timing is very, very important. Business selection, franchise India also helps you in terms of what kind of business you should select, what kind of industry you want to do that, why are you choosing one industry over another industry, uh, why are you choosing a one brand over another brand. That's very, very important. So that's the number two point. Number three, which is very honest understanding of your resources available with you to bring along to your business, and please understand that money sits. The least in this. That's very very important. People think that just putting money would uh, help their business to grow. Answer is no. I always say that if hundred people take the same brand, they all hundred would have different results. Say for example, hundred people came and invested into starting a subway. All hundred would have different results. So which means that money was the least parameter when it comes to performance. There were other parameters which were very very important. It was your location, it was your timing, it was your hard work, it was a, the time you spend on the business, it is your family which you came along, it is the ability to understand the business, ability to attract your talent, a lot of other resources which is very 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 important to help you run the business. So third point is very honest understanding about the resources required to run and operate that business, and we'll get on to uh, putting that part also further. <clears throat> Then you need to really put your business in a financial plan. That's also very important. You have to write your own business and a financial plan, and this is also area where Franchise India really helps you. So that's also an area. And finally, the fifth point is attracting the right team. And when you're starting a business, <coughs> you need to have your right founding team. You have to have a founding team which comes along with you. So five things. Before you start your business, first set your mindset. Set your mindset. Put your life goals. That's very very important. Second, what is the business industry you want to choose? Business idea you want to invest on, and what is the timing for that? Is it the right timing? Is it got to mature? You have a lot of competition. What stage you are in on that business idea? That's very very important. And also sometimes the business idea is ahead of business uh, time. Great timing, but it also comes with gestation. Like when I started franchising, it was a great timing. Nobody was there in franchising. Nobody understood franchising. But it took me four or five years and continue to invest before I started making money because the market was so nascent that education, getting new clients, getting the things set up, took a lot of effort and energy from me. So sometimes when you are getting into a new industry, like a lot of new technologies are coming in, like deep tech is now going to be the next big thing. The metaverse is going to be the next big thing. But all these things are going to take a lot of uh, timing. 
a uh, lot of gestation, three to four, five years, patients to do that. Are you adequately funded for that? Or you don't have that funding, that's also very important. So you need to really understand the business timing. Third is the resources. Uh, resources, what you are committing for the entire thing, putting a business and a financial plan, very, very important. And finally, the team you want to really select. These are the five uh, pieces. Let me keep taking the questions. Somebody looking for a pharma side, a good brand to invest in, pharma retail or uh, pharma, there's a lot of action going on. Uh, uh, we can help you out. We have many, many opportunities available. Somebody starts to start a small scale packaging manufacturing uh, and ready to make like those idly and getting leads. Uh, good industry, FNB, food processing. If you're talking about Jivani, then this is a good industry. And somebody wants to do manufacturing of water waste, yeah, recycling water waste. All these are great, great example. Herbal medicine, I'm not too sure because overcrowded uh, market and distribution is very, very difficult in herbal medicine unless until you have a very credible. Uh, brand in there because general trade for these kind of businesses are very competitive and very competitive and a lot of uh, uh, low cost manufacturing assembly points are there and and this is very competitive uh, in herbal medicine or ayurvedic medicine and so on so even the bigger players are are very commoditized so uh, i would not say but waste management treatment plants is a is a huge huge demand side uh, from section and again you know uh, Mr. Oja, if I can really comment on, uh, if you really see, you are all over. Uh, you from from recycling to manufacturing to uh, distribution. You're thinking almost everything, and all these are very different businesses. And this happens with every entrepreneur. Every entrepreneur is in multiple state of uh, things, and you need to really ask yourself what you are going to be best at, and what you want to really put your next five to ten years. Would you want to be enjoying that business, or are you just doing it because it looks attractive from your side? So all these things are very important for you to understand and make the right decision. So let's get going. Defining the right successful business, you know, because our webinar is called Success Paneer. And unless until we define what is successful business. And, and the success is not really about just thinking about ROI. ROI to me stands a very low in, in your success journey of our business. Uh, while it is important because you want to make return on your capital, but return on capital is just a number. And sometimes this number is all about your abilities to run and execute that idea. Uh, and all these successful people who become billionaires, uh, if they worked on just an ROI, they would not be billionaires. Uh, so they grew much beyond their expected ROIs of what capital they deployed. So everybody who started like Dhirubhai, always this is written that he started with 1,000 rupees. If he thought that 1,000 rupees would give him some return, he would not be uh, what he is, uh, his son is, Mukesh Ambani is there. So he always knew that it was beyond the money he wanted to bring in. I call this a different ROI mindset, which is return on intelligence and return on involvement. So this is return on investment. Return on investment is just one part of it. Real monies are made on return on intelligence and return on involvement. This is a different ROI. And this is where people make money. So you really have to think through what is you bringing on the table outside that capital. Even if you're buying a franchise, uh, you need to really think through how I'm going to change this? How do I go beyond this? How do I really make it successful? That's very, very important. So what is the successful business? Successful business is which can build value for each stakeholder. That's where the success value. That's where the successful business is. Here. So what, how a business can build a successful value for stakeholders. Now, what is that value? Value is sustainable business model, sustainable business model, which can continue to give dividends over the time. Business which gives satisfaction to stakeholders, people who are satisfied, and also leaves a legacy. <clears throat> legacy of the business communities around you. So that's all continue to be the successful business. And more and more, you are all about that and think about that. In, you can build a successful business. Once you have uh, the clarity of building a successful business, how to choose the right business. That's very important. When you're choosing the right business, always connect four dots. Four dots, very important. First dot is the industry. Why you want to choose that industry? It is a sunshine. What is the next five years? What is the competition? Uh, how the industry is uh, spreading out in India? How the industry is shaping globally? Because the global trends would tell you what is going to happen in India. What is happening in, in UK now? India would probably possibly go in the next five years, right? So what is happening in China, which is our immediate, but I always have seen that one should, why should not look at just the political relationship of China. China is a very strong 
economic development country almost all policies of theirs have outshined anybody in the world you know even us and everybody have somewhere of the form started following chinese economic policies so one has to understand that market i have traveled extensively in china and i know how businesses are built how entrepreneurs are flourishing how they create manufacturing clusters how they create better distribution supply chain efficiencies all that really helps uh, people to prosper better in their uh, business journey so how do you really choose the right industry why you're choosing that industry what are the trends you're seeing in that industry is very very important and this is where franchise india really helps you we really help you to explore the opportunity and why how it happens because when people come to franchise india we take you to different industries say mr oja is confused on different industries but if he comes to franchise india franchise india would introduce him in all the businesses he really talked about of uh, five six companies in every industry when he goes and meets every industry uh, uh, companies in different industries and ask a lot of questions his learning levels go up and then he's able to make the right decision that is this industry right or that industry right or this industry is right but i don't fit into that industry so that's very very important how you choose the right industry the second dot is how to choose the right brand in that industry why are you choosing that brand over his competition that's also very important then what is the financial goal you have is this brand which you have chosen is delivering financial goal and finally the micro market where you want to start the business what is that market telling you how competitive it is i think how much uh, micro competition you have in that market so join these four dots first is industry second is a brand second third is a financial goal fourth is your micro market if you connect all that four then you are sorted for starting a business and this is exactly where we have a program called advantage where people come to franchise india we become you become member with us and we take you through the whole journey this is a almost a one year membership but three month program for selecting the right opportunity and my colleague kanika who is on the call can send you more details now risk risk is also very important it always stays in the back of every entrepreneur that look i'm putting my money and if the money uh, business doesn't do well i have uh i can get into losses and losses are just not financial loss i know it is a huge emotional loss it is also a loss of your own personal credibility in the market uh, nobody wants to be loser nobody wants to lose everybody starts looking at you differently when you are failed in business so failing in business can be a huge trauma uh, for anybody even if you are successful in life but once you fail you are failed the people don't know i've seen journey of anil ambani Uh, where he's built some very very successful company very successful company uh, and any almost every business he used to touch he used to be this man of scale very fast scale but the last 10 years not been good for him almost every business he invested failed and look at what his image is carrying today everybody feels that he's a failed entrepreneur uh, so much is written wrong in the media and things like that maybe the situation might be have been different might be one business of his which is likely would the telecom burned a lot of cash for other businesses of his and that way but it's once a failure is a failure so nobody wants to fail so if you don't want to fail then you need to really assess the risk where is your risk appetite what kind of risk you can take how much you want to take at the initial stage people who come to us which are first time business buyers we tell them not to take too much of risk start a franchise uh, build a business go with something which is proven uh, take a step to approach uh, do this four cycle of uh, bu- building the business i call the four cycles are first is uh, incubation incubate your business second is uh, stability stabilize your business third is growth now start scaling up growing and finally sustainability sustainability is where the business can do without you which means that now the business has gone to run by processes and systems and doesn't require you but this is a cycle every entrepreneur has to do then only you have become uh, successful so when you are doing your risk analysis always divide risk into two parts one is what i call internal risk and second is external risk internal risks are the financial risk financial risk how much you can take where is your risk appetite and where you are how much money you have how much working capital you have i call the 60 40 rule if you're starting a business if the business is say uh, needs investment of 30 lakh rupees you need to really start with 50 lakh rupees of capital to feed that business it's called 60 40 60% should go into capex and 40% money you should have for operating uh, capital or your opex so that's the uh, 60 40 rule so you need to really understand your financial risk second is the marketing risk do you have capability to take that product to the market how much competition you have around you 
how much uh, kind of investment you would require to get your customer base to that level. Say you starting a, a, a X Y store, and your optimum capacity is that you need 60 customers a day. Uh, what time frame it will take to 60 customers? What is the cost of acquisition of these 60 customers? What is the gestation cycle? And if this doesn't happen, if it is 10% lesser or 10% more, what would it matter and how it would change your financial projections? Third is operational risk. How much operational time you have to run and operate that business? Uh, and that's very, very important. And I can tell you, businesses fail today, not the, because of they're not financially invested or marketing, because they're operationally super, super weak. They're very weak on operational. And that's why I advise entrepreneurs, when you're starting a franchise, always ask for a lot of training, a lot of training. You need to train yourself. This is one of the biggest support you should ask from your franchiser and say, train me for at least 10, 15 days that, so that I can do that. And sometimes franchisers are also making a tall claims and coming and telling you that, look, you just invest into the business, rest we will take care and your business would be successful. Actually, no. I have sold more businesses than anybody else in this world. Uh, Franchise India sells more businesses than anybody else. After selling so many businesses, I can tell you I have learned one thing. It is just about that entrepreneur. Just about that entrepreneur, how he himself trained. Because every business is independently owned, independently operated. So if you're not a great operator, you're not training yourself, you will never be able to success yourself. And fourth is the selection of a talent. Again, very, very important. The people you are hiring initially hire only for two things. One is what I call integrity and second is their ambition. Only for two things you should hire people and train them on skills. If you hire only for skills, these two are becoming very difficult. And if you get somebody who has also skills, also have integrity and also have ambition, you're perfect. But always hire people for integrity and ambition and train them for skills. So if you are building these four risks, which you have, only four risks you have, financial risk, marketing risk, operational risk, and talent risk. Cover these four risks internally. See your plan B, plan C, plan D, if you don't have that kind of a structure. And once you are able to cover your internal risk, external risks are not so much in control. You know, external risk can be like COVID happened or something happened or disruption happened in the industry. But at least bring predictability over external risk. Once you've anal analyzed these two internal and external risks, you will be much more uh, ready to take the right decision. So friends, this was a short webinar I wanted to do only for 30 minutes. Uh, this is already 35 minutes. Hope I was able to give you some insights. But it's very important decision of your life to take the right business decision and choose the right franchise. And if you're looking to start a franchise, we have a program called Advantage. Uh, you need to book yourself for a consultation with Franchise India. We are available in 94 cities. 94 cities, we have offices. We'll take you through the whole journey of uh, starting on business model, starting with selection of the right industry, selection of at least 10 to 12 brands in different industries, which your shortlist, meeting these brands, having a lot of discussions on business plan, financial plan, doing the right legal contracts, and finally helping you to incubate your business model. So I wish you all uh, a great uh, entrepreneurial journey ahead. If you not set your mindset, please set your mindset. Understand the five golden principles which I said of starting business. Setting your mindset, deciding on the business idea and the timing of that idea, understanding and uh, agreeing to your honest resources which are available, and you should be honest about it. Developing your business and financial plan, and finally finding the your founding team which would work with you on creating your vision or creating your mission for a very very successful business. So thank you very much. If you have any feedback for me, uh, how we can make our webinars more interesting, uh, any kind of a feedback on what you would like to hear, anywhere you need help on, or even if you want my, uh, some consultation from me or some ideation or validation, please reach out to my direct number. It's 98102-44330. It's my WhatsApp number. But I will only reply if you send me a detailed WhatsApp and then I'll be able to reply. Otherwise, my colleague has written a, a business hotline number. Send a message there. We will set you up for a free consultation with our, our team members. Thank you very much for your time. Enjoy your Sunday and look forward for having you on many other webinars which happen. Thank you very much.